Okay, so uh, we'll have a little quick overview of our underfloor heating manifold. Uh, this part of the manifold will come bare initially, and these parts are supplied separately, uh, and the actuators. But to start here, we've got our inch isolation valves here, large butterfly valves, provide quick isolation of the manifold from the rest of the system if you needed to perform any kind of maintenance at all. Um, on these particular valves we've actually also got built in um, thermostats that sit in this little pocket here which will be able to show you your flow and return temperature to uh, obviously determine your delta T across the whole system. This is your top flow bar to the manifold which incorporates your flow setters or flow limiters. Uh, these are adjustable uh, by pulling up this red locking collar and then really by hand either turning them clockwise or anti-clockwise to change the flow limit which is set on this gauge here and you'll see you have 0 to 5 litres a minute which will be adjustable by say opening or closing the valve. We provide on our underfloor heating designs we provide uh, the set the, the flow set amounts for each loop so that you can accurately get the correct flow rate uh, and delta across each loop. Um, you've got your automatic air vent here which just allows to release air uh, from and that's kind of a maintenance air not not really so much on the filling side um, you, you'd be doing that through actually commissioning and purging the system but this is um, kind of a maintenance automatic air vent any small amounts of air that need to be released from the system. Um, these are your pipe connectors here and depending on, for example, we've got a 12mm pipe here, depending on your pipe size, we will supply uh, different connectors for each one. You've got your uh, fill and drain points here. Uh, this is for commissioning the system, as I said, which we'll move on to, but these are just bib connections and they have a small drain off uh, and, um, uh, tap underneath there, which you can undo. Uh, here we have an electronic actuator, which is wired back to the wiring centre. So when your room thermostat calls for heat, this will very, very slowly move up. And there's a small piston in there which will allow water through and run around, to run around the system. This is why we have our pump delay, because these are very slow to open. Um, and they're supposed to be slow to open. Uh, the indicator on top here, this black um, sort of rubber part at the top in is uh, actually pops up once the valve is open so that'll indicate to you that that valve has fully opened. When you initially receive the, the manifolds they do have a black collar in which uh, you have to pull out to enable the valve to actuate. These little uh, caps here are just literally screw open and closed valves, uh, caps sorry, which just open and close the valve which uh, will help you commission or isolate the system uh, before you actually bring in the electronic actuators. Uh, and finally here we have the pressure gauge, it just shows you current pressure, um, obviously useful for um, once you initially commission as well, and pressure test system can be done through that.